his initial reaction was fist raised, scowl, fight. That's not how I would prefer you to respond. But his public communications since then have been way more measured than they could have been. I think that he is demonstrating that he has learned that him being himself as he was in the last two campaigns is his worst enemy, especially right now with Biden as his opponent. And mm -hmm. he is really tamping that down. So like this first message, thank you to everyone for your thoughts and prayers yesterday as it was God alone who prevented the unthinkable. Again, God didn't prevent some of the unthinkable, unfortunately, but whatever. And then it's it's religion stuff, he's pretending to believe in God, that's fine. You can do that in this moment. Um, one message says, unite America. Another says, based on yesterday's terrible events, I was gonna delay my trip to Wisconsin. Uh, but we have just decided that I cannot allow a shooter or potential assassin to change the scheduling and he'll be going on with it. Every bit of that is perfectly acceptable and measured. It's not deranged. There's no, sure, there's, he theoretically could acknowledge some of what we will in a few minutes about the nature of the shooter, but he's not spreading any conspiracy theories. He's not claiming that Joe Biden did or anything like that. All of that could come, but it hasn't. And you know, some people are saying behind the scenes that he had like sort of a spiritual moment coming out of this. Tucker Carlson says it changes a man when you're shot in the face. And you know, I generally assume that literally everything Tucker Carlson says is a lie and to his own benefit. But has he been yeah, shot in the face? Maybe it is. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I it, I buy it. I buy okay. it. Um, and so I do think we like let's not create you know something out of the image that isn't true. But his his actual messaging, and he says his speech is gonna be more measured. Um, he's encouraging other speakers to dial it down, which they probably will not. And so all of that, very responsible, even commendable. And eventually we'll go back to criticizing him for all the insane stuff. But that I think he is, it deserves credit for. But what do you make of all that? It's, it, you know, it's more than that, it's smart, right? Oh, totally savvy. Savvy. It's savvy. It is savvy to, yes, you were shot at, you are the victim here. It's savvy to not come back and be pissy and angry and, and do all the things. Because in the same way that we saw him in the debate, which was, John, we haven't talked about it because of course Biden overshadowed everything. But the fact that Donald Trump was like, weirdly measured for a little bit, like yeah, wasn't just, just like screaming that. lies, just lies, like no, this is that. And that's what he needs to do to convince people to come back to him, because a lot of folks abandoned him in 2020. So he needs these swing voters to come back and vote for him, say, I'm a change man, I've seen God. John, maybe he'll even crack the Bible now. <laughs> maybe even right side up, maybe, hey, that'd be hey. a change, I'd like that. See, anybody can learn. Um, this but is, anyway, I mean, he's yeah, he's gonna start to read now. It's gonna be a new Trump. In fact, I think he's just gonna be woke as hell. Like he's just, he's gonna come back and be like, you know, I get BLM. Like I get the defund movement. That's it. It doesn't change you that much. But anyway, and so look, that I think. Hey, are we not fair? Are we not nuanced? You give credit where it's due, and you take it away where it's not. Even though saying that here could end up getting us killed. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.